Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Clust. And I'm sorry, Christy from AppSumo, but your explanation was a little tricky and most people didn't understand. So I'm going to help out. Clust is in a lifetime deal right now at AppSumo. If you guys want to grab it, the link is going to be in the description. It's an affiliate link. It's going to give me a small commission and it's not going to cost you any more. So I'm glad to help out. All right. What is Clust? Clust is an online form that's going to help you grab information from clients and documents in a simple and neat form. Now, some in some forms, you can make them obligate to give you that information or not. And it's going to depend what your business niche is about that this form is going to be built upon that. So in, in a little bit, we're going to build one. So what are the codes that AppSumo is selling and a lifetime deal? So AppSumo codes are based on the gold plan from Clust. So if you guys want to check out what's included, go to see gold plan. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice right now is that all plans include 300 applications a month. So that means it's not going to change one with the other. What does change is the teammates that you can have and that goes up and up. And also, I just want to point out that there's not included C name on this. So when you show a form, it's in their domain. So it's clus.doc.com. That's just an example. And but I saw on the comments that they might be adding it. So let's hope for that. All right, let's head on over to the dashboard. This is Clutch dashboard right here. And you are going to be greeted with analytics. So you can see applications checked, ongoing application, latest messages received and overdue applications. Now let's head on over to create a brand new application. And that's going to be here in resources. Now we can create a brand new template or we can head over to template library if you feel it's easier. And if it actually is, you can head over here and it's going to, it's going to give you a sense of how you should start off. Now you have templates for real estate, legal, finance, other education and technology. All you got to do is import template and start working on it. And what's going to happen if I do this, it's going to open the template and now I can edit it. But this is not the point of the video. Let's actually create a template. So let's head up resources, templates, and these are the templates that I've created right now. I've been testing it. So let's just create a brand new one. There we go. And this, this, this is going to be test three and confirm. So this is where we're actually going to build it. And what one of the first thing we have to do is add new items. So in new items, you can add for documents or files. Now, the way that you're going to build this form, like I said before, it's going to depend on the niche of your business. So let's just say you're saying you're selling physical products. So what kind of documents would you need or what what would you want to use this form for? Let's just say this was uh, a refund form, right? So we want we want the receipt. They wanted to, to send us the receipt. We want, okay, that's not spelled right, receipt. We want a picture of the item, so item. What else? Mm, you can add as many as you want, and these are doc, physical documents that would send PDF files that they would upload. Let's just say these two for now, confirm. All right, once you've created this, we're gonna head and jump into one of these. So for receipt, let's set it up. Do we actually wanna make this required? They can't avoid this, so they gotta actually upload the receipt. So let's put required and what is the description? So upload receipt picture. All right. Conditions. Do we want to add conditions in any case, in some cases, pre-validation? Yes or no info. All right. So let's confirm and you're going to see it updated right here. So if we hover over this, it's going to say mandatory item and upload receipt picture. So that's the information in the description. How cool is that? All right. Add a new item. Next thing we have is the online form to fill out. Now, online forms have to be pre-built before this. It's actually the same as template, but you create a form and that way you don't have to create each one. So in this case, it's going to say basic info. What form? Test form. Is it required? Yes. And it's basic information. Confirm. There we go. Now it's basic information and you see I have it mandatory and it has the information there. Next items we have is credit card payment information. Do you want that to set up currency and all that good stuff? So you can create a payment gateway. In this case, we're not going to do that. Uh, electronic signature. If we have this set up, you can have the electronic signature working at the end. Say, hey, when you're done, you got to sign this. That's pretty cool. Task to complete. You got this also. And if you have any questions, you can have this It's a support question. All right. This is like the basic one and we're going to preview this template right here. So let's preview it right now. All right. And there's the logo that I previously uploaded and I'll show you where that is. It's cut off because I, this is just testing. 
This is the name of the form and requester SAS master deadline one week from now and this is recipient by name. All right, so what's going on? People are gonna receive this and you gotta give it like the sense of what it's for. In this case, like we said, it's like a, a, a refund status. So it's asking for a receipt. If I hover over it, it says, hey, of the receipt picture. So let's add files and boom, opens file manager, right? How quick was that? Let's just say this was a receipt. It's uploading right now. Yeah, let's wait for it and it's right here. So it's added. We can close that right there. We have items, so also you can upload that file. Let's upload whatever. Upload now. And we got fill out form. Remember we had that basic information fill out form. Let's click on that and see how this is. So you got the first name, last name, uh, price. This is just a form I created. You can add whatever things you want right here. SKU and save. Wait for that. Okay, it's safe. Let's go back to list. And you can see all that information. Let's click on this one also. Let's wait for that to upload because I want to show you what it does when you hit on finish. Okay, so now that's done. Let's click on finished. Do you want to send to us this, this application? Now, in a way, get a sense if you send someone this information every time that you need something. Let's just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to do a marketing service for someone. Hey, we want to know what are your social media accounts? What are the passwords just in case? Um, do you have, uh, what do you call it? I don't know, things that you would ask, right? But hey, what's your website? Can you upload your logo, the edible logo, logo and ask for that information without having to write that every single time in an email or look unprofessional. So you're getting a sense of what, other, what type of things you might use this for. Well, there you go. Resources, online forms. Remember we created that basic info? Now you can create a brand new form. Let's just say test two, confirm. And you would use this new fields to add those forms that we did. That we did. So for example, it's a first name, last name, blah, blah, blah. You can do this for other applications. Let's just say for marketing. So brand name. And what can we ask? Website, Facebook, Twitter, so on and so forth. And you create these forms and you can start using them in your applications every time that you want to use them. Also, you can store these in folders if you want. Template libraries, we saw that. And client portals. Let's click on this one right here. These are client portals. You can, from a branded cluster page, from a website page, and you can create these right here. Now, where would you add the logo? Head over here to my account, oh, my company, sorry. And in my company, you would create the company name, company logo. You can customize the interface background. So if you want to add something a little bit more nicer, like a gradient look, you can upload a picture right here. Email sent by, so you would add the email right here that it was sent by. Uh, your, whoops, oh, okay, there we go. It updated, sorry. B2B toggle, your privacy policy URL. So if you have that, put that there. Acceptable files. So let's just say, hey, you know what? This is not an acceptable file. Or if it were a Photoshop or Coral Draw or something like that, you would add those file types that they could upload just in case. So, like I said in the marketing business, you would need their logo in Edible, something like that. So you can add those file types. Upload is file max, 50 megabytes. I mean, that's that's pretty generous. I think you should lower that, but just depends in each person. Automatic PDF conversion, you can do that also. That's a that's a big time saver if you need documents in PDF at the end of the day. So that's pretty cool. Team members, you can add them right here. External members, I would say this is for clients if they want to check out their application form, but not pretty sure. Clust extensions, so you can connect to Dropbox, Google Drive. You have the option to use DocuSign. Remember we had that option to be put to sign e-signature at the end? Well, you have these DocuSign or HelloSign. I hope they add more because there's a lot of businesses out there. Next thing, you can set up the payment for Stripe, so no PayPal as of now. So I hope they add that also. And this description and Clust invoice. Well, guys, did you see how easy that was? And I hope you now understand what Clust does. Now it's going to depend what you do with this information that you actually create your own forms and look more professional and spend less time asking for the same documents over and over. Maybe you're doing like recruitment for new employees. You can create a form for that. Hey, send out your ID, send your business, your, what do you call it? 
uh, employment application, your, I mean, whatever you need, you can create for that. If it's real estate, hey, give me all this information. If it's marketing, give me this. I mean, it just depends what you want to use. This is one of those tools that help you be more professional. This could set you apart from the competition. Having this and not just asking in a simple email or physically can set you apart from the competition. So, guys, I hope you guys like this video. The link is going to be in the description. Like I said, it's an affiliate link. It just gives me a small commission. I'm glad to help out, but that just helped me out. All right. Thank you for watching. My name is George, and this is SaaS Master. See you later, guys.